started to hurt. It got so bad I couldn't walk very far. When I came in for my first consultation, he told me he'd get me back. They treated me well, and they came through on their promises. Many people are told they need a new hip or knee because they're bone on bone. But if there's just a sliver of cartilage left, we can help. It's a whole lot better than it was when I started this program. Call 844-200-PAIN to schedule your no-cost consultation. It's the huge New Year's Eve balloon sale for three big days at Lakeland Furniture and Mattress in Minocqua. This huge sale starts Friday, December 30th and runs through Sunday, January 1st. Make your purchase and pop a balloon and reveal your savings up to 88% off in honor of Elmer's birthday. Stay on top of breaking news and the biggest stories of the day with NBC News Daily. Get in-depth reporting from across the country and around the world. Tips to take care of your health and your wallet. And up-to-the-minute local news. NBC News Daily, weekdays on NBC. Straight ahead, life-saving donations. We'll learn about new tourniquets for emergency responders. Plus, a major conservation project blocked. We'll hear about what's stopping the Pelican River Forest in Oneida County. And a local exhibit is honoring the legacy of an Eagle River artist. We'll have the details as your local news starts right now. News Watch 12 with Dan Hagen and Conrad Sapinski. Good evening and welcome to News Watch 12 at 5. I'm Dan Hagen. We start tonight with a multi-vehicle crash just east of Rhinelander in Monaco. Three cars were involved in the crash at Highway 8 and 45 at that intersection just after 2 p.m. today. A minivan and a pickup truck sustained the most damage from the crash. There were many ambulances and firefighters on the scene. Firefighters were directing traffic with one lane open. There's no word on the cause of the crash yet or how many were injured. Today, the Howard Young Medical Center in Woodruff presented a donation of tourniquets and dressings to the Vilas County Sheriff's Department SWAT team. These devices are critical for keeping people alive during emergency situations. Newswatch Trail's Kyle Pazorski was at the presentation and has the details. Kyle? Well, thanks, Dan. Today, I spoke with Vilas County SWAT team members and Howard Young staff who say the donation will help in a crucial way. The new tourniquets and dressings can be used in situations of active shooters or serious car accidents. Where time is the most important factor. It basically helps stop the, the clock on bleeding. Freezing time during emergency situations can be hard, but now with a new donation, the Vilas County SWAT team will be able to potentially save a life. You know, it's incredibly important that we can stop the bleeding as soon as possible. We don't always have medics that are right there with us. We need to be able to get that under control. The Sheriff's Department already has plenty of tools at their disposal. Wednesday's donation adds yet another life-saving device. Each one of our officers carries a medical kit on their person. And these are just extra tools we can have to help us in the field. Aspire's EMS Medical Director Michael Clark agrees that when dealing with emergency situations, time is of the essence. Now, ideally, we'd love to get them into an operating room, but during an active situation or just a situation far from the hospital, that's not going to occur. Clark said that for the medical center, Wednesday's presentation is about staying one step ahead of the emergency process. And we felt it would be a great way to support the community and support uh, first responders out there who are on the front lines uh, taking care of these situations. In total, 12 tourniquets and dressings were awarded, amounting to $800, donated to the county, the Vilas County Sheriff's Department. Dan. Thanks, Kyle. Well, Conrad, it's still cold out there, but yes. it's going to change soon, right? Yes, absolutely. And that change begins just 24 hours from now. All right. Yeah, we're going to see some 30s tomorrow and then on pretty much the rest of the week. Taking a look outside right now, the roads are still ice and snow covered, so it is very slippery outside. We talked about that accident earlier today. Be careful, slow down as everything is very slick outside. Temperatures have been brutally cold and pretty much keeping all that snow and ice on the ground. Right now, we do have some cloudy skies in the area, a couple of flurries and some wintry precipitation just up north. This is closer to the UP right now. And overall, this is all very light and scattered. So we did have a couple of uh, freezing rain sprinkles and some flurries earlier today. But overall, just a good amount of clouds all across the area. Cold temperatures are still sticking around. Even in Chicago, 23 degrees down closer to Florida, though, it is definitely much warmer than what they had on Christmas Day.
Temperatures earlier today here in town were hovering at around 18 degrees, 19 in Wausau and around 21 in Green Bay, so still well below our average for this time of year. Tonight, though, we're, temperatures are actually going to start to rise as a warmer front starts to move in. And tonight, by the morning hours especially, we'll see temperatures in those lower 20s. Dan? Governor Tony Evers today announced his appointment of Adam Payne to serve as the next secretary of the Wisconsin DNR. Mr. Payne will formally assume the position in January of 3rd. The appointment fills the vacancy created by former Secretary Preston Cole's retirement. Payne currently serves as the county administrator for Sheboygan County. Previously, Payne was also the executive director of the Wisconsin Land and Water Conservation Association and served for five years at the Wisconsin Department of Agriculture, Trade and Consumer Protection. The Wisconsin Department of Transportation announced that 44 agencies will receive grants to help provide transportation services for seniors and individuals with disabilities in rural areas of Wisconsin. Over $5 million is being distributed across the state as part of the program. The grants recently were given a boost in funding as part of the bipartisan infrastructure law passed last year. Some local recipients include Tomahawk Area Interfaith Volunteers, the City of Stevens Point, and Black River Industries in Taylor and Price Counties. Wisconsin is becoming a magnet for some big political spending. Millionaires from inside and outside of the state dumped cash into Wisconsin elections through loopholes in campaign finance law. The Democratic Party raised about $22 million in the last election cycle, compared to about $16 million for the Republican Party. Loopholes in Wisconsin campaign finance law allow individuals to make unlimited donations to political parties, and parties in turn can make unlimited donations to candidates. Those gaps opened when the U.S. Supreme Court ruled that limits on political donations were an unconstitutional restriction of free speech. Wisconsin previously had an annual cap of $10,000 per person on all their political donations. The largest land conservation project in Wisconsin history is planned for southeast Oneida County. But right now, that project is being blocked by an anonymous state lawmaker. The Pelican River Forest Project would protect more than 70,000 acres of land for public recreation and forestry. This project is generally supported across the political spectrum, with most of the money needed coming from the federal government. The anonymous legislator blocking the project is a member of the state's powerful Joint Finance Committee. A volunteer ski hill in Langlade County is looking for some help over the weekend. Kettle Bowl Ski Hill Cross Country Trails is about 15 miles northeast of Anigo. Hill staff are asking for help on Saturday for an outside work day. The recent ice storm has created a lot of extra cleanup work on both the hill and the cross country trails. They need people working chainsaws and pole saws, as well as people moving branches and debris off trails. Work starts at 9. All youth who help out will get a one-day ski pass. Snowmobile trails in Price County will open tomorrow at 8 a.m. Riders are asked to avoid the lakes as they are not safe and not marked yet. Clubs have been working to clear brush and debris that was left on the trails from the recent storms. Some trails will not open, including those managed by the Spirit Lake Riders, Prentice Bushbenders, Catawba Drift Splitters, Elk River Pioneers, and most of the trails ran by the Lugerville Chasers. Art Start in Rhinelander is currently displaying their winter exhibition. It features a Northwoods artist this time. Louise Engelbrecht is a Eagle River artist who recently passed away in 2020. She was known for her watercolor paintings as well as fiber art. Director Ashley McLaughlin says the exhibition has been popular so far. Louise Engelbrecht was such an icon uh, in the Northwoods, um, and her mediums really varied. She did a little bit of fiber work, uh, and then also she's very well known for her watercolor art as well. McLaughlin says some of the feedback she's heard is Engelbrecht's work is relaxing to look at. Yeah, it's, it's very uh, happy, honestly. I like to come in here when I need a little break from my computer and just walk around and look at the watercolor and uh, admire the fiber art in here as well. The exhibit will end on January 14th. For more information, go to artstartrhinelander.org. A bad week for plane travelers across the country, especially for one major airline. Coming up after the break, we'll hear from people stuck in limbo 
because of Southwest Airlines problems. That's F. Conrad, right here on Newswatch 12. This portion of Newswatch 12 is brought to you by Slumberland. Northwoods Firearms in Crandon, we sell anything freedom. Firearms, ammunition, parts and accessories. We buy, sell and trade all types of firearms. We specialize in custom built rifles and fully equipped set up hunting rifles. Silencer shop powered dealer with kiosk, factory trade and certified Seracone applicator. We handle all types of firearms transfers as well as NFA weapon deals. Our focus is on you and delivering one of a kind products. Embrace your freedom at Northwoods Firearms in Crandon. The holidays are for making memories, and you can count on Honda to help you make them. Whether it's in a capable Ridgeline, adventurous CRV, a rugged Passport, or a dynamic Pilot, start making memories of your own with a new Honda during Happy Honda Days. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or visit your local Honda dealer today. Your Honor, the defendant is groping her attorney. That's night court, baby. Big Bang's Melissa Robb. Anyone that's a stripper, please go home. John Larroquette. I am renowned for charm and grace. Night Court, January 17th on NBC. All right, people, let's get toxic. Catch up on American Auto Season 1. Yeah. Streaming on Peacock. Kind of makes me horny. Before Season 2 premieres. Don't panic. American Auto, January 24th on NBC and streaming on Peacock. Uh oh. Did your holiday hosting create a couple extra stains in your carpet? Or do you just need an update for your old flooring? Come to Carpet City Flooring Center and start your year off right with free carpet installation. That's right, free carpet installation. If money is a little tight, Carpet City Flooring Center can help make your project affordable with interest free financing. Get your free carpet installation today. Carpet City, our prices will flow. Welcome back, guys. Taking a look outside right now. Cloud cover is taking over across the state. Did have a couple of uh, flurries in the region and some frozen drizzle sprinkles all across the area. But taking a look right now, closer to the UP, those pink colors, that is some wintry mix. That is indicated right now falling from the sky with these very cold temperatures. There is a little bit of a layer of warmer air up in the atmosphere, and that's why it is caused all of that wintry precipitation. Tonight, though, we will have mostly cloudy skies. Overall, maybe some light wintry precipitation in the area. And same thing into tomorrow. But our next low pressure system is pretty much brewing in the west right now. All of this right over here, that rain and snow in the west, that's going to produce a lot of snow, a lot of rain in California. And then it's going to continue to move east. And as it does, we're going to get in on a little bit of some wintry precipitation as temperatures start to rise. So like I said, into Thursday, uh, we'll have some wintry precipitation. Same thing on Friday, mostly. And then into the weekend, I would say Saturday into Sunday, we'll have a couple of snowflakes. And then Monday into Tuesday does get interesting once again as another low pressure system starts to move in. We'll still keep an eye on that one. Depending how warm those temperatures get, really depends if we're going to get more rain, more wintry precipitation, or more snow. So we will keep an eye on that one Monday into Tuesday. Winds are a bit on the breezy end right now, blowing pretty much out of the south. So that's an indication that temperatures are starting to warm up, and they really are. Uh, we have a breeze at around 10 miles an hour here in town, gusting to close to 15 all across the area, even Iron Mountain. Same thing by Green Bay, uh, gusting close to 20 miles per hour. And the winds are mostly from the south, bringing in those uh, warmer temperatures, but still uh, teens in the area with a little bit of wind. It feels a lot colder than that. Feels like we're in the single digits here in town. So still today into tomorrow, it's going to feel just a little bit cooler. But overall, we are on a warmer temperature trend. Our temperatures right now are hovering at around 18. And this is actually going to be our low for the night. Temperatures are going to continue to rise as that, uh, that wind is continuing to blow out of the south, bringing in all of those warmer temperatures. We should be hovering at around 25 degrees this time of year with a low around 7. Look at our record high, though, in, uh, in the 1900s, 48 degrees. Wow, that would melt all of that snow outside. We don't want that, folks. But 
Temperatures will start to warm up into those mid to upper 30s in the next couple of days. So melting, some slush will be present in the area. Taking a look at Thursday, though, look at that, 36 degrees. So temperatures will be above freezing. That's going to be a slushy mess outside. And then Friday into the weekend, temperatures start to cool off slightly, hovering slightly below freezing. And then into the new year, once again, temperatures will be well above average in those low to mid-30s. Tonight, though, another chilly night. Temperatures will be in the teens and then rising overnight. So by the morning hours, we'll have temperatures in those lower 20s, some cloudy skies, maybe a flurry or frozen of precipitation will be likely. Our seven-day outlook brought to you by Northwoods Furniture and Mattress does show a pretty warm next week, but it's going to be a pretty active weather pattern. Dan? Title 42, the immigration policy allowing asylum seekers to be turned away at the border, will remain in place for now. The Supreme Court voted 5-4 to four to grant an emergency request to prevent Title 42 from expiring. The ruling averts what many had predicted would be an additional surge in people seeking asylum in the United States. The justices also agreed to hear oral arguments in February and rule on whether states can intervene on Title 42 with a decision due by the end of June. So far, more than 2 million people have been expelled at the border from Title 42. Bicycling used to be reserved for warm weather, but fat tire biking is becoming more and more popular during the winter. Fat tire bikes use extra wide tires and low tire air pressure to ride along packed snow. The Rhinelander Area Silent Trails Association, or RASTA, is making sure people have access to groomed trails. RASTA already has a contract in place to maintain the cross country and snowshoe trails at the Washburn Trail System. So it seemed logical to them to add some fat bike trails too. Being a popular area for skiing and snowshoeing, so it's multi-use. And we have a warming shelter that people can take a break in. The Fat Tire Bike Trail open at Washburn Lake is about three miles long and has some technical sections in it, making it an intermediate level trail. It's a trial year, an experiment, if you will, uh, to incorporate Fat Tire Biking out here at the Washburn Trail System. Rasta has other Fat Tire Biking trails, including at the Mud Lake and Enterprise Trail Systems, all the trails are maintained by volunteers. Trails require a daily or annual Oneida County Trail Pass. For more information, visit the Rasta website at rastatrails.org. The Southwest Airlines meltdown is not yet over. With more than 3,000 flights canceled today, on top of nearly 3,000 flights canceled yesterday. Isabel Rosales breaks down how long the cancellation chaos shall continue, plus pilots pointing the finger at a problem that has nothing to do with the weather. We had to wait in a line that was four hours, and we're still in line. This holiday travel nightmare, far from over for Southwest customers. I'm beyond frustrated and hurt. Because I can't see my dad. Thousands of families still stranded across the country. Their luggage piling up, boiling anger and frustration with Southwest. They don't answer the phone. There's no option to rebook anything online. It's a waiting game to rebook, in person and on hold. Your current estimated wait is 132 minutes. But even new flights canceled again. Southwest apologizing. Its CEO tells the Wall Street Journal it will operate at just a third of its flight schedule into New Year to catch up. The company blaming the recent winter storm for getting flight crews out of place. We will do everything that we need to do um, to right the challenges that we've had right now. But the head of Southwest Pilots Association says the real culprit is the outdated scheduling software. We have been telling them this for years. Our software can't keep track of it. So they don't know where we are. Uh, they don't know where airplanes are. It's the worst disruption he's seen in his 16-year career. It's frustrating for the pilots, the flight attendants, uh, and especially our passengers. The U.S. Department of Transportation set to investigate the massive cancellations. Little comfort to passengers, out of patience and options as prices soar to get back home. I'm Isabel Rosales reporting. Coming up after the break, we'll hear an update on a cold Lights of the Northwood season here in Rhinelander. Plus, a Wisconsin football star announced he'll be hanging up the cleats soon. We'll be right back. 
Get up to 80% off list prices during our huge inventory reduction sale at Slumberland Furniture. $20 million worth of furniture and mattresses must go. Lowest prices around on recliners, sofas, mattresses, and lots more. Slumberland Furniture. There's a reason we're called People State Bank and not the first bank of this or the big bank of that. It's because we share this community and the values that make it better and dream that our kids and yours will grow up happy. We know these roads as well as you do, and we're glad to travel them with you. When you think about it, it's really pretty simple. We're your kind of people. We just happen to be bankers. And that, more than anything, is what brings us together. Today, it seems everyone can be their own service technician thanks to the Internet. From servicing their own cars and engines to home remodels and projects, people are trying a little of everything. Here at Maher Water Corporation, we employ nationally certified and factory trained technicians to keep your water treatment systems working to their full lives. We will treat you like our own family. So if you want us to service your equipment, give us a call. But if you're the fix-it-yourself kind of person, we'll enjoy your funny video clips. Introducing Granite Stone, the all-new durable non-stick pan. No butter or oil needed. Look, sticky candies, burnt-on cheese, caramel and chocolate, even upside-down pan pizza just doesn't stick. Perfectly sear a filet or fire flambe. Get your Granite Stone pan for just $19.99. And with every order, you're going to get a Granite Stone single-serve egg pan absolutely free. Order now. To order, call 1-800-898-6703. That's 1-800-898-6703 or order on... Up to 80% off list prices during our huge inventory reduction sale at Slumberland Furniture. $20 million worth of merchandise must go. Lowest prices around on mattresses, rugs, bar stools, sectionals, accent chairs, and more at Slumberland Furniture. This portion of News Watch 12 is brought to you by Slumberland. A Wisconsin native is retiring after a storied NFL career. J.J. Watt sent out a tweet today saying he had finished his last NFL home game, signaling the end of his long career. The former Badger and three-time Defensive Player of the Year played his first nine seasons for the Houston Texans before being released in 2021 and joining the Arizona Cardinals. The former MVP candidate is the only player to have two seasons with 20-plus sacks in NFL history. It's bowl season for the Badgers. New head coach Luke Fickle will be on the sidelines tonight against Oklahoma State at the Guaranteed Rate Bowl. Most of the major decisions, though, will be made by interim head coach Jim Leonard. And by the way, it'll be Leonard's final game with Wisconsin. He announced he'll be moving on after the season. A big question mark tonight is who will be the starting quarterback for UW? Graham Mertz is not available because of his transfer to Florida. That leaves fifth-year senior Chase Wolf and freshman Miles Burkett, who have combined for six pass attempts the whole season. The game starts at 9.15 and can be seen on ESPN. Everybody has a different opinion on when you should take down your Christmas lights. And one event in the Northwoods proves that the new year is still as good time as any to keep the lights on. Newswatch Post Morgan Johnson joins us to tell us how you can still see the holiday colors in the Northwoods. Morgan. For the sixth year in a row, Lights of the Northwoods volunteers successfully brought another light display to life at Hodeg Park. This year is looking a little different because of the cold, but one volunteer says that isn't stopping anybody from coming. Number one, it's free. Bill Freudenberg can come up with endless reasons why people should go see the lights. Number two, it's beautiful. When he sees another car join the line, he gets excited. I love every minute of this. It's the sixth year the lights have brought people to Hodeg Park in Rhinelander. I'm going to say probably half a million lights out there. However, because of recent cold temperatures, Freudenberg says they didn't have as many volunteers. How you doing? But people still find ways to spread holiday cheer. Well, the weather's getting warmer and uh, the forecast is looking pretty good. So, and we're looking forward to this next week with collections. Freudenberg hopes to see even more light bulbs at the park next year, but for now, he'll make sure people enjoy the time being. Just enjoy the park, enjoy the season, and enjoy the families. People who go through the lights display can donate money or a non-perishable food item to volunteers. This Sunday, January 1st, there will be a fireworks display at Hodeg Park at 7 p.m., but until then, the lights will be on from 5 to 9 p.m. PM each night. Dan.
Thanks, Morgan. We'll be right back with one final look at your weather after the break. Triggs huge New Year's seafood sale, December 30th. For one day only. It's the largest selection at the lowest prices of the year. For more information, visit Triggs.com. <laughs> Surprise! It's a new Buick. You got me a new Buick? Oh. And there are more guests inside. You got me the head up display. Wow! It's a massaging seat. Okay, okay, what next? Alexa, turn on holiday lights. This year, give the gift of technology in every Buick SUV. It's the holidays. Get 3.99% APR and no monthly payments for 90 days on these Buick SUV models. Visit your North Central Wisconsin Buick dealer. It's the huge New Year's Eve balloon sale for three big days at Lakeland Furniture and Mattress in Minocqua. This huge sale starts Friday, December 30th and runs through Sunday, January 1st. Make your purchase and pop a balloon to reveal your savings up to 88% off in honor of Elmer's birthday. Start the new year off right during the final days of the Ford Shine Bright sales event. Don't miss your chance to choose from a great selection of new Ford vehicles in stock and ready for delivery. Or place a custom order, lock in your rate, and you're protected. Plus, new inventory is still arriving daily, so you could drive one home today. This season, choose Flex Buy on a 2022 Escape or Edge SUV and get 0% financing for 66 months at your local Ford dealer and shine bright. Everybody wants cheap airfare, but where do you find it? You call low-cost airlines. They specialize in cheap flights, discount hotel rooms, cheap car rental rates, and with the best price guarantee. If you want the lowest prices on your airline tickets or other travel services, call now. That's right, call. That's the only way to get these rates. Experts are standing by 24-7 to get you the cheapest airfare and hotel rates available. So don't wait. Call now. News Watch 12's Dan Hagen, Jessica Jukic, and meteorologist Jeff Weller bring you the news from where you live and weather of the North Woods. Watch Dan, Jessica, and Jeff weeknights on WJFW NBC 12. Triggs Huge New Year's Seafood Sale, December 30th. For one day only. It's the largest selection at the lowest prices of the year. For more information, visit Triggs.com. Well, Conrad, I didn't have a chance to ask yesterday, but how was your Christmas? It was really good. I went down to Chicago for one day, and then I had to be back for Christmas Day, though. How was yours? Yeah, it was pretty good. I do kind of have a silly video here. Okay. Unfortunately, my dad had COVID. He's okay. He just, you know, has it, and he's mm -hmm. taken Paxlovid, and he's vaccinated and everything. So he's doing fine, but we couldn't be with him. But that's me virtually unwrapping a gift. That was my sister for a second oh. there. So we had a good time. We made the most of it, but... Uh, it's kind of a little silly. Also wearing the Packer jersey. Big win for the Packers. That made my Christmas. But so finally, a little late Christmas gift here. We should get some warmer temperatures, right? Kyle? Yes, absolutely, Dan. Uh, there's a light at the end of every tunnel, you know, so temperatures will be warming up. But taking a look, we did have a white Christmas so far. 34.5 inches of snowfall. That cold there is still sticking around even down south. But a lot warmer than what we had on Christmas Day with records broken all across the country.